Fuckers, welcome back to the Snake Pit. This is episode 155. Today's guest is um, none other than Xavier Gonzalez. That's Tattoos by X on Instagram. Probably one of the best, if not the best, tattoo artist in Lubbock, Texas. I really like the guy. He's cool. He's cool to hang out with, cool to talk to. It was a great conversation, a great podcast, as always. Um, I mentioned it in the podcast, but, you know, I, I think, you know, if you can get him... Maybe you have to wait a little bit, but book him, and maybe you have to pay a little bit more than you want. But I, I highly advise you go to him. He's very great. It's, it's done, it's done really good, and you're not gonna regret it, man. So uh, hit him up, give him some work. I think, as he said this in this podcast, he's gonna go month by month. I don't know if he's done that yet, but maybe he has. Check him out. Hit him up. Um, if you're new to the podcast and you're coming in from him, uh, would you please give me a subscribe? And if you haven't subscribed already. Go ahead and do it. If you've been listening, I don't know why the fuck you haven't subscribed yet, but please do. Um, it'll really, really fucking help change this whole landscape for us. You know, we're going to keep working hard, but we need your help too. Also, um, if you want to go above and beyond, there's a $3 and $5 tiers on on Patreon where we do, you know, audio only every Friday. And then $5 is audio and video for um just the extra two bucks. I know you guys like to buy like that nasty ass coffee or whatever every day. It's about that price, but once a month. So please, you know, support the podcast, help us out, buy the merch, check out the website, interact, you know, like, hit the like button, um, comment if you want. Follow us on um, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. It's all under the Snake Pit Rattlesnake Roy or just Rattlesnake Roy. If you want to follow me on my personal account, you know, hella soft. Um, we also have Lords of Film, which we will be doing a new one this weekend for Halloween, the movie. Halloween Kills, I believe that's what it's called. Uh, you know, check that out. That's really Jen's thing, but I enjoy doing that. It was fun. So um, thank you guys if, you're, um, if you've been with us. And if you're new, thank you for uh, joining. Well, I hope you guys enjoy. Somebody oh, fucked with that mic. God damn it. The 20 deaths. It was under, it was not going to 20 decibels. So you were losing, you know, your uh, gain. Well, thanks for, you know, I don't know. I just know they're supposed to both be to the left and I couldn't fucking. <laughs> so they're both to the left. This one goes. Okay. So back over here. Now we're, now we're back in order here. So the high pass filter basically cuts out all your like high, like low end shit. So like if anything like background static and shit, it'll cut that out. Like, cause it peaks out at like, what is it? 500 Hertz or some shit. And then on your decibel thing here, basically like. You would have to max. You'd have to give you twenty more decibels over here in order for it to do this. So like basically, this is just cutting out your fucking gain. And yeah, I, sh I was wondering why. I was like, I sound like I'm fucking yeah. echoing and far the fuck away. You sounded like, louder without the headphones. I was like, what the fuck is going on, man? <laughs> That's why you kept going. Like I was like, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Now we're all right. But, now we're back. We're, okay, <laughs> for those of y'all that, because I'm gonna have to. Let me just start over. You're playing catch up with the damn tattoos because of COVID. Yeah, yeah. and it would be better if like, you know, it would be cool if the tattoos were smaller, but most of my shit is like at least like Yo, a five to six hour or like longer pieces. scale piece. So it's like, I'm trying to play catch up and then, but like lately the tattoos I have been getting, like the other day I had a girl come in and um, she had a little little tattoo or whatever. She was supposed to get like a bigger one or she was wanting to get a bigger one, but dude was tripping or something. Like that's another thing too, man. Dudes who have like, when girls come to get tattooed and the, the boyfriends that are like super fucking like crazy you deal with that shit man i do oh like like oh we bet you over there fucking around with this dude and i'm like man i was like tell this dude like, i've had like legit women crying like on the phone and shit like having to leave and i'm just like why would you even like why would you come why would you even like like and i feel bad for them i really do because it's like you it's the predicament man it's i don't like, feel bad for them because they know they can leave they know they can leave but <laughs> Jesus like Jesus christ it's like why the fuck are you still like i i know i get it i get it like like homegirl that was like that she's just arguing with them like she goes to that shit all the time so like they, they were fighting it wasn't no sadness there it was just like man fuck you whatever i don't care and i was just like all right he's like all right i'm gonna head over there she was like how's he gonna head over he ain't got a fucking car and i was just like why are you still dealing with them dude? he was just bummy like that let but me just say, let me I, just, I, let me say something vulgar real quick there is no dick or pussy good enough for that kind of relationship bro like dog. crazy shit like i'll a, just say that right now dude like he, Point he, blank. he came with her younger sister and like he started like after she's like cut off the phone so that way she can get tattooed or whatever she started he started texting and calling the sister and he was like they texted her he was like he said something about Oh, you ain't answering my phone either because your sister, I got something for your ass too and all kinds of shit. And I was like, what the fuck is, like, what is this? This is dumb. Like, that's dumb as shit because it's just like, dog, if you're that insecure, because like, she like, because basically he was saying that the tattoo she was going to get on her neck was trash. It was just some little words. And uh, she was like, well, you don't give a fuck about them trashy ass bitches you be t uh, fucking with. And I was like, oh my God. It was just like a clusterfuck yeah. of shit. Not to put their business out there, but it's just like, <laughs> when it's shit like that, it's like. 
And they're she, doing it in front of you? Yeah, well, like she's on the phone doing it or whatever. whatever. <laughs> oh my God. And, but then, you know, but I've had a lot of instances where shit like that happened or the chick's crying or the dude's outside in the car tripping and she's in here. Like, and I'm like, you can go somewhere. Like, I could send you to Melissa. Like, Melissa's a great female artist. Like, that's she what you need there. to find. Like, you know, you know, but um, you need to find a female artist that this is what you're going to be going through. And like, you really shouldn't have to go to it anyways. But if you want to put up with the shit and you're going to do that, then go but to a female also, artist. But also, it's just like, why make the appointment if you know how that situation's going to yeah, go? Like, like, why put your artist through it, essentially? Oh, uh, man, dude. And it's just like, I had nothing to do. I had one dude actually add me in my Facebook at one point <laughs> and fucking like, because he thought that I had his baby mama pregnant for whatever fucking reason. In his head, I got tattooed her and then she's pregnant. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that oh. I'm the... And so she she had wrote me and told me about that. She's like, did my baby daddy had you? I was like, I don't know. And I went to go look and I was like, what's his name? And she's like, yeah. I was like, yeah, I thought he was trying to get a tattoo or some shit. And she's like, yeah, no, he thinks that um, I'm pregnant with your baby or some shit. And I was like, why would he even think that? And she's like, I don't know. Because I got, she's like, since you were the last male I was around, that wasn't whatever, whatever. But it turns out, she because they weren't even together. They were just like, but they, you know, they're still talking, whatever. But she was dating some other dude at the time or whatever the fuck. And so she's like, well, when I pop up, when I pop up with my dude, new, uh, new dude, finally, he's going to stop tripping. And I was like, why the fuck do I care? Like, I, I really don't give a fuck. I got nothing to do with me. Like, dog, it's, it's like the, it's so dramatic sometimes. And I'm like, this is just the dumbest shit like I've ever been in. But like, you know, like I said, hey, that's that's y'all's couple. That's y'all's relationship. Bullshit. Just don't bring that shit over here because you're going to end up on a T-shirt. Because like, you know, like, I ain't got nothing to do with me. Like, like, like. Oh, my God. <laughs> So you're right. backed up. <laughs> yeah, so I'm backed up. Anyways, but yeah, no. Oh, but like, but it's like, so I'm backed up though. You know what I mean? But like I said, like I got into that, I was getting that conversation about that. It was like, she came in for something small and then she like, I had to go. So it ended up being like a real quick day. And I was like, well, shit, I can try to get somebody in. But when I hit people up around that time frame, it's like, oh, no, nah, you know, and it's, it's situational things like, nah, bro, I can't got my kids. I'm at work. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. And I'm like, okay, that's, that's completely understandable. So it's hard to kind of, like, I'm trying to fill those dates and fill those spots for the people that need it. Like, you know, kind of first come, first serve, but also like in order. Like, so like this dude, I know that he was like waiting the longest so far. So like, I'm trying to hit him up and like, no, nah, I can't. And then I hit the other dude I'm like, no, nah, I can't right now. So then I kind of go down the list until I'm like, well, I guess we're going to wait till this next time. So I'm really just trying to get my schedule in, in order so that way I can get everybody rescheduled and on or whatever. Or like, make sure like, hey, is this how big you really want your piece? Or is it going to be smaller or something like that? That way I can like, we can go earlier in the morning, knock that out. And then I can get this other food in and so on and so forth. But we'll be catching up here soon. Like, it'll it'll even itself out here within probably like the next two, three weeks. I've been kind of like fucking trying to buckle down and get after it. Cause I just want to get it out the way because I want to do a month to month here. Um, starting November. Like I want to just basically at the end of every month, like that last weekend of every month, I'll book for that following month and then I won't book no more. And then so on and so forth. And so that way it ain't like a two, three month wait. I think that's time. what I'm, I'm sort of going to do that with this. Like at the end of the week, I'm going to find two guests. Mm -hmm. for the week and then at the end of the week i'll find two guests because it's like you're always planning ahead and like for me being three months in advance or whatever the hell like had i been like had i since i had already kind of stopped booking like i still was booking a little bit further out had i kept booking and booking and booking i would have been in december or january or february or some shit and then august happened i would have to move all 30 of those people like over the course of like way the fuck over there but in case i can't get to them i know they can already get in december for sure you know what i mean so excuse me if I go month to month, then it's like, okay, so I fucking was out this whole month, but I just basically move them to the next month. The same, it's the same days or some shit, just move them to the next month and boom, we're back in business. So yeah, I was going to do that prior to COVID anyways, like prior to us catching COVID, but like now it's just like, okay, really like, okay, now for sure that's going to work out for me because, you know, and being booked out forever is like, it's job security, but damn, that shit kind of gets like, cause I'm over here tattooing, it's October and I'm like, damn, so anyways, I got to tattoo this dude in February. I got to get this design. I'm like, why the fuck am I worried about February right now? That's yeah. just like, I don't know. So, and it keeps it to where like, if we want to go out of town or if we want to go do something or if like, we want to just plan shit for the next month, we can just plan shit for the next month instead of being like, well, now I'm already booked. I'm about to cancel them or move them. Or just get, I'm like, no, nah, I can't do that shit. I'm just going to, do it to where if so you just do like a open your books and whoever gets the date gets the date. yeah unless un, uh, unless you're uh unless you have like an ongoing project with me like we started to sleeve and we want to get it finished up so like we're gonna be doing like every month like you'll get in like a month like every you at least get in every like once if every you're month. like pre-booking them personally yeah pre-booking how many of those people do you have do you have a lot of them i have a few actually i have a few sleeps damn i forgot about a couple of them <laughs> oh, <actually. shit. laughs> Jesus. but like well i have i have a few of them but it's just like you know it's so hard to catch the time or you know it was at one point so but now it's like we're gonna i'm gonna like i said the ongoing projects that's gonna kind of have um priority just so that way i can get them done because i know they come back like they like i have a lot a lot of customers that are like legit just like 
bro, like, be mean when you can. Like, come on, come on with it. And I'm just like, I know, I'm trying, I'm trying. But it's just like right now, it's just been playing catch up, like I said, with all those other folks and whatnot. But um, yeah, no, it's so those like ongoing projects you have. What what makes them? Can you do like the whole sitting, or do they say I don't want to do this in a whole no. sitting, or is it you? You get tired. How does that process? I get man, I get kind of burnt out brain wise within like eight hours for sure. But it's like depending on what the piece is. If it's like a realism color portrait or something, like I'm like okay, yeah, I can push on to twelve hours, and I can actually sit there and kind of finish that as long as the person's sitting well. But as soon as I start seeing them like get real, like I'm like all right, nobody got to cut it. You know what I mean? Two hours. That's all I can do. Two or hours. like, do you, do do you ever find hours. yourself having to like set boundaries as to like how long your appointment should be? No. Because I remember for like the longest time it used to like do 14, 16 hour sessions and shit like that. Yeah. You would? Yeah. I, I did. Um, so I'm not. I remember one time I spent like a good nine hours with you. Yeah. yeah. I'm not doing that no more. Like, it's like, I'm not, well, like. I, I'd I'd still, dying and shit. Yeah. <laughs> like if it's portraits and shit, I still like to do it that way just because yeah. like getting it one and done is the best way to go about a portrait. But like. Other shit, like I'm gonna start breaking off my into sessions, or I'm gonna actually like be stern on my budget because there's sometimes I go over, I do this and that, and I'm just like, well, it's, it's cool, bro. We got, and I'm, but I'm gonna stop doing that just because it'll help me build a better structure. Like if I know you want to get like four hours, I'll book you for five that way in case it rolls over. If like the time kind of gets fucked up here or there, like on my end or your end, like we'll have that five hour slot. And a lot of it was my fault too. Like there's be times where, like I'm running late or something, like you know, I'm like, fuck, 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 I gotta get there, but um. So, no, but like, if you're like, bro, this is, this is all I have to spend. So basically what I wanted to do, this kind of coming around, I want to probably get me a web page or some shit. Um, Cause I'm either that or redirect everything to my email or like, I'm going to try to figure out a better structure for it. But the only reason I'm trying to do this is so that way I can give you like a client form, like name, number, best way to contact you, your budget. Like I'm going to give you like a, like a four, like a little four choice thing. Like you got this price at this price, this price at this price, this price at this price. And then like not, or like not available or not sure or whatever the fuck. And then. Like give you like a description and then like you know a slot for like you to insert uh images images for like what you want reference wise and then a placement of like where you're gonna get it on your body that way everything's like already situated because then I'm because I'm gonna start probably being more selective with what I do to begin with because like I've been catching myself like as of lately um like I can do a bunch of different styles and I don't mind doing a bunch of different styles but there's some shit that like. This girl hit me up today for wanting some geometric shit on her neck. She wanted like the uh, the thing of life, or the, like the little sacred life thing. And then she wanted to get the rest of it, like blasted out with geomech. And I was like, I can do it. I was like, but man, I can just send them to Dylan and Dylan will get it knocked out. Because Dylan does. That's why he does it. who likes to do it. He likes to do it, you know. Who's that? Pull him up. Dylan Grant Land. He goes by Dylan Land. I forgot we had the laptop. Yeah. Um, Dylan's Land. Yeah. See, and he does a bunch of geomech, you know. Oh, like that right there. Like the, that, like, like that right there, like the leg piece, like yeah. that. Was the oh, thing. okay. So he wants, and so she wants on her neck, and like, yeah, I can do it. But I was like, man, he's a homie. He's like coworker of mine. I was like, just go to him. And so she was like, okay, cool. But then she hit me up for another piece anyway. So I'm like, all right, yeah. But her other piece was like, all right, I'd rather do that, you know, because like I know that he'd do it well That's and he cool. gets it yeah. done fast, you know. And so I'm like, you know, because I can do it. I was like, cool, but like, if she wanted something like that, but she wanted to incorporate like a realism side or something inside of it, I'm like, all right, cool. Just because it gives me more of a, but also it kind of makes you like more motivated, motivated to, to do, it. do it. Yeah. Whereas Dylan's like, fuck it, GMAC all day. I don't care. Like, let's just run it. Like, he does a bunch of different styles too, but he likes to actually take. He actually enjoys the dot work. He enjoys the dot work, the dot work, uh, GMAC. That's what he enjoys. So, you know what I mean. So I'd rather him kind of gets to that, like. Um, it's just I just that's where kind of where I've been, but but on top of that too, like stuff Damn, like that. That's cool. But on top of that, it's just because like as of lately, I've had so many people hit me up to where like like if I I'm, if I'm really not feeling it, I'm like I'm gonna send you to somebody that I trust, and I really have been just like referring a bunch of people to different people as of lately. Like so, you're at that point in your career though, where you can just pick whatever you want to do. Y- yeah, honestly, mm-hmm. yeah, I I, I, I am. Um, I can honestly say that uh, I can be selective and do stuff like that. I mean, it's to the point where I have a steady clientele to where, like, I don't even have to get new clients if I really didn't want to. But, and then, like, the clients I do take on are, like, are usually referrals. And so, like, I know they're, they're good for it. Like, because, like, a lot of my clients and friends, you know, if she if she recommends me somebody, like, I already know that they're going to be good for it. And, like, good clients, good whatever, you know what I mean? And so on and so forth. Because I know that she wouldn't send me nobody that she wouldn't want to fuck with. Like, so that's why I kind of enjoy that. Whereas... With the client form thing, and if I do have new referrals and stuff, it'll be nice to get to see what they're wanting, offering me. Like, you know, so this is what I want. And I'm like, you know what? At least I can kind of get back to it and be like, well, I'm probably not the artist for you for that piece. But, you know, go over here. But, you know, I can do all these styles, but 
I'd rather uh, not necessarily focus on one stock because I still want to be kind of like do whatever. But um, I just want to, I don't know. I just want to like I kind of I just want to do shit that I want to do for a little while. Is you it know like what I mean? you, yes, it's, is it like you know what you want to market out there? No, or like you know what you want to work on? Not not necessarily. I just I think that it's just. I think my 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 thing lately has been structure. Like I've been wanting to build a better structure. So if I know what I'm already working on, if I already have an idea of like how I'm going to go about it, whatnot, and like I know like the piece is going to work for me, like I can just kind of like, okay, I know for sure I can kind of get within this time frame where I know I can do this. So I'm just going to start doing that. Whereas there's a lot of new up and coming artists that I've just really been following. And I, I don't know, I've just been liking a bunch of these new, these new cats work. And I'm just like, go over here to try. Cause like, I don't know, like they're going to build their name and their clientele and shit like that too. So I'm just like, go over here with him. And then, he, you know, most of the time when I recommend somebody, like it comes out good and I'm like, cool, like it looks good on me too. So I don't know. I've just been trying something different as of lately. And then, um, yeah, no, just playing, just, 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 I think, like I said, it's just finding something different structure wise. You know what I mean? Cause for a long time I was just, I get shit done and I tattoo all day and I do whatever, but I always felt like I was just kind of like fucking just running around. You know what I mean? I still have my appointments and I would do whatever, but you know, even my off days, never which I don't have because I'm always like, um, I have my off days, or whatever. But in the morning, like, hey, can you think you can get this piece in? I'm like, well, fuck it, come on in. And I'm there all Jeez. fucking day again. You tattoo me on your off days, yeah, my because that's like our only off day. Yeah, and so <laughs> like, so you know, and it's not it's not a, a big deal or nothing. But like I said, I just want to get a better structure. Like, and I said, and I might still work seven days a week, but now it's gonna be structured. You know what I mean? You work seven days a week. Yeah. Fuck. For the most part, like I'm always, I'm always at that shop. Like I said, I'm off days. I would book anyways and do shit like that. But you know, now I'm just gonna do it to where, like, if I do go seven days a week, it's only gonna be from this time to this time. Then I'm going home. Like I'm not gonna stay there all day. We don't finish a piece. I'm like, hey, like I gotta go home. You know, especially because BB wants to start working again and stuff too. She was talking about it, and so um, it's gonna be like to a point where I can start going in either real early or I can go in at four. You know, four to into however long I know because then she'll be getting off. At like a regular, around time. regular time frame, like you'll have a better, yeah. yeah. So that'll be, that'll be nice. You know what I mean? So that way we can build a, a, a damn structure. And I told her like, whenever she starts figuring out what her off days will be and stuff like that, then I can just go ahead and move around that. Like I'll take my off days on her off days and that way we'll just have time to spend together. Or she want to go back to work yet? Doing What's hair? Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. I'd love sure. to have her back. Yeah. She's, just, she's, she's, she's actually really excited. She's been wanting to go back, man. She just hasn't been wanting like, with Luna, she took a while to get back to work. And it's not that she couldn't or nothing. It's just that it's different. You know, when you have your first kid, it's kind of like, uh uh-huh. But this, with this one, she's like, all right, baby's eating already. She's fucking, let's go. <laughs> and like, I think with hair, it's like, it's so in demand. It's just like, when you commit to going back, it's like, with her, she had a small clientele mm-hmm. bill. So it's just like, and people will still call for her. Every mm-hmm. now and then, you know, so it's just like, nice. it won't be one of those things where like, she can just take an off day. It's like, she has to like, dedicate herself back mm-hmm. to hair. So it's mm-hmm. a big commitment to mm-hmm. that. I'm excited if, yeah. she does, if she does. This. Baby's, like I said, baby's already eating. She's good. She, she's spending a year out because, you know, we're kind of getting all that. She's still breastfeeds or whatever, but like I really, that baby just like, she loves her boob or whatever, man. But if there's <laughs> foods there, she's like crawling up on your shoulder, like, <sighs> I'm like, all right, chill out, chill out. Shout out, baby Ito. <laughs> baby Ito is just crazy. She's crazy. She loves to eat. Nice. But, <laughs> but um, nah, man. So she's probably going to be going back here soon. Um, and shit, everything should be good, man. But like I said, I'm going to work around her schedule and get myself more structured. And hopefully by then uh, the shop will be done and everything. Like that was a process. How's that going? Slow. Very slow. <laughs> I actually, I actually put it on the back burner for a few months there. And then like just as of recently, shit's just been like going, 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 going. And it's like, it's good though. You know what I mean? But like all the money is now going, 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 going. And so like it's like I'm playing catch <laughs> yes. up and having to pay for all that over there. And so I'm like, oh, shit. Um, but it's but it's OK. Like it'll come back. What are you whatnot. waiting on over there? What's like what's the process? The concrete was what was a main thing. Like and it's like it wasn't even building equity for me. You know, that's like the, the landlord stuff. So me and the landlords have been kind of talking back and forth about how we're going to go about the like the actual full price of that. And like how we're going to pay that because that's not on me. I was like, I told him I pay for the AC and all that stuff because like that's the stuff I want aesthetically in the shop. Excuse me. It doesn't have to be changed. But. I'm going to change the lighting. I'm going to change the AC. I'm going to change a whole bunch of shit. I'm going to put up some walls and all that. But that floor thing was structurally like part of the shop, like after of, the, of that shop, you know what I mean? That building or whatever you want to call it, storefront. That was part of their structurally. So like that's 
go like that's equity for them. Like I don't want to pay the full You're thing. You're renting this. Yeah, I'm renting oh, this place. Okay. Like I'm like I'm not gonna sit there and pay the full thing because it's not you know just not fair. You know. So I was like, shit, I can, but y'all gonna give me like fucking ten months fucking free rent or something. Like you know what I mean? Because I'm not gonna sit there and just give it to you for free or whatever the fuck. But. I heard the price because I heard people talking. I'm not gonna say who. They were talking about um, the price of a building, the size of another tattoo shop. I'm aware of. It was three hundred fifty thousand dollars for a fucking building, like to buy the building mm-hmm. like that. I didn't know like real estate like that. Mm-hmm. Commercial real estate. Commercial real estate is expensive. Yeah, expensive as fuck. Yeah. I'm like fuck. And like just renting month to month. Yeah, renting like, is a lot better. Crazy. Yeah. Like I'm just like if you have that money, that's an investment. Yeah, no, for oh, sure. Damn, that's a lot of money. Yeah, because like I said, with them, I'm pretty sure it was hard to rent at that little part part that I was in. So now that they got it all cut out and the concrete's laid and everything's looking flat again, like they can, they won't have no problem looking ever running it out again. Like it's going to be perfect because at first it's like a trip hazard to even walk up in that bitch, but now it's like everything's oh, okay. cleared up. And uh, I should have thought about that kind of prior to getting in the building, but I was just like, I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'll do it. And it's like, cause I wasn't in no hurry. And now that everything's kind of going like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Like I was like, oh, but it'll get done. It'll get done. And I'm not putting a, like an actual date on it just so that way I don't fucking disappoint myself. Like, guess what happened? Cause I was like, I'm gonna go do everything this time. And then like, I kept getting caught up with this and doing this and doing that. I'm like, fuck, fuck, fuck. I was like, just trying to play catch up with a bunch of other shit that I had going on. And I was like, all right, back burner. I'll just throw it back, you know, cause I'm already tattooing. I'm in a good spot. Like, I'm not really worried about it. So I just, you know, did my job, did my work, whatever. And then I just let that building kind of just sit there, marinate. And like, but now that it's actually, coming to fruitation it's like okay but like once it's done it's gonna be it's gonna be nice you know what i mean like once it's done it's done and then i don't gotta worry is it about just it you in that building for now you do it? yeah um i was thinking about putting four booths up totally like in, in total i don't know what the fuck i said it like that but in total uh just but um i don't know man i don't know if i want to do that like i could do four booths or i could just have one big ass fucking shop to myself and throw like a pool table in there some arcades and shit something cool but i was like nah i can't be that head ass i probably just i still probably end up doing cool. a couple it would it would but um, I don't know. I'll probably end up if I if I do decide to do boost, it'll probably be like open concept ish. Like I wouldn't be like full open concept, but kind of semi. You know, not full rooms either though, because fucking what's open con like EDOC almost almost like EDOC, but like I'd probably do like quarter, like three quarter walls or something to kind of separate the rooms. That way, like there is a divider right in between the the artists themselves, but not so okay. much to where it's like like I'll leave the fronts open, but not the sides. So that way, like you're not like all the way up in their business because that can honestly get kind of like. You know, it gets kind of weird. Like people start getting agitated with other people for some reason. I don't know why, but it is. What Dude, it is. I just got a tattoo last week, and I was, it's you know, it's open in there, and I was like making faces. But when people would walk in, I would try to have to hide my face. I was like, fuck. yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. Like that's as a customer, I'm like, fuck, I don't want people yeah. to see my face, man. I'm like, and fuck. It, you know, and it just makes it a little bit more privatized in case you know it is like a like a spot that you can't be showing or whatever you don't want to show or whatever so you know so i'm gonna leave the front open that way you can throw up like the the curtain like like the actual like the little uh, chinese curtains whatever they're called you know what i mean those things but that way you can put them up in the front you still be good but as soon as you're done you can like open it up and it's still kind of open concept to where like you don't feel like you're away from your other artist homies or whatnot you can still talk to somebody without it being like fucking just have to walk around the door, get in a room and do all that shit. You talk across or you can talk like that way or vice versa. So I don't know. I'm still trying to like kind of plan out the floor plan, but um, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's not like a big, big shop. It's only 1,250 square feet, but it's, it's just big enough. You know what I mean? To fit four people comfortably. So that's where I'm like, man, because I can go smaller and like, and I've seen shops like that where like they're kind of like the same size and they have like fucking 30 fucking little chairs that like right next to each other. And like they still, people somehow make it work and I don't know how, but they make <laughs> it work and whatnot. But I was like, I don't want that. I want everybody to have like comfortable space to where they can chill. You know what I mean? And then at that too, it'll probably be like an appointment shop. I'm just thinking ahead. Do you have four people in mind you would pick? Not necessarily. No. I got people that have hit me up, but nobody I can like. Just throw out there like that because in, in conflict of interest. Well, I'm just saying no names. I'm just in your head. Do you have? To? Yeah, k- kind of, sort of. I, I mean, I do, but it's just like I kind of see where some of them are are at right now and their predicaments they're in. I'm like, they're actually doing good for themselves at the moment. I wouldn't like. Why don't you just it, say you have to be fucking really good to come work for you? <laughs> and that's the thing too is okay. So I can't with, be no goddamn beginner to come work. Well, for you, that's man. the thing is because some some <laughs> uh, some people were like anybody that goes to work for you is gonna really pull off your name because they know you work there. You know what I mean? I was like, I mean, I guess. And they were like, No, you gotta think about it. Or well, Ricky, I was talking to Ricky Melissa the other day, and Ricky was like telling me that he was like, Shout out to him. Yeah, shout out to them. Uh, like we can. Like he was like, you can't be cheap for your rent. You can't be doing like that. He's like, even if you aren't paying shit there, he goes, you can't personally be 
cheap oh, or nothing because okay. because he goes because then you got to put up with their bullshit because you got to put up with whoever you bring in's problems or whatnot but also like they're going to benefit off of you they're going to benefit off your name he goes and you got to make it worth you this you like because when people something happens there something goes wrong they're not going to go to that artist they're going to be like hey is something happened in the whole damn shop he goes so you got to make sure that it's worth your name if something you know whoever you bring in so make it the money worth it and i was like yeah, 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 you're right. You're right. <laughs> because, you know, he's right. I was just thinking of it as like, oh, it's small. It's like a smaller spot. I ain't got to really worry about it. But he's like, it's not about that. It's about who you are and like how you're going to make it, you know, and everything that you got to put into it. And I was like, yeah, you're right. You're so right. you got to, you still talk to them and keep an open communication yeah. with them? No, uh, as of lately. Yeah, 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 yeah. It wasn't prior and it was nothing bad like that. It's just that there was some hearsay when I left and it wasn't like, um, but it was just never nothing that I had we had ever discussed. Like, you know what I mean? So I ended up running into him at this last convention show and stuff. And they came up and talked. And then uh, the next morning we, me and Ricky stepped in and we talked for a while. We cleared up the air and, you know, and that's really what it was. It was a bunch of, you know, he said, she said, or this and this and that. And it was nothing like ever like, like, you know, it wasn't like I was beefing or nothing. It was beef or nothing like that. It wasn't like that. I just didn't, I didn't, I I didn't know where we were or where we stood. So I didn't want to just bring that into, I was like, you know what, I'm just, I'm like they come talk to me cool if they don't like cool I just don't want to like what was that that tattoo expo yeah the last tattoo the tornado alley then the last one that we had but you know after me and Ricky talked it was like it was just like some misunderstanding shit and it wasn't you know like I said it wasn't nothing intentional so I mean, I'll take his word for it you know what I mean because before then me and him never like we were always cool so like you know we it was never nothing like that so when I left I was like man I don't sound right you know but even still like I still got a keep my guard and be like okay i'm gonna wait but after we talked and discussed and stuff like that like i said it was nothing ever like oh we beefing or we're doing like no it was nothing like that it was just like i just didn't know where we stood and then once we kind of cleared that up i was like oh okay so cool so i still go so I, i've been by there a couple of times since then and stuff like that it's just that i won't involve myself unless i know where we stand because i don't want to like be there and just be like uh, like what are you doing here type shit and it's like uh you know and it's just um but no man it's been good like it's been good and like they're cool and shit like we've like i said we've talked as of recent and stuff and um like it's it's yeah no I still, I still, yeah they're good people man they really are and i like i said i still stop by other shops and shit that i work you know for and i'll still talk to some like a lot of tattooer homies there's only a couple of people that i just do not fuck with in the industry and like right at all and you know who you are and you know who you are yeah <laughs> and it's weird because a lot of them people i don't beef with the like beef with it's like i would leave and then like ah, oh, bro i got you and then like i get deleted off of facebook and i was like, I'm like what the fuck was that? like what the hell was that all about and then like, sure enough it's like uh yeah bro he was talking about this i was like for what? Like, I didn't even, like, what the fuck did I do? And I left that motherfucker. Like, I always, it's always something when you leave. Like, it's just like, I remember when, um, you know, I remember when one of these other homies left the shop, they were like, some something rumor was going around that he beat up everybody in the shop and all kinds of shit. <laughs> and I was, I told him, I was like, bro, what happened? He was like, I don't know. Like, because me and that fool were still real cool too. He was like, I don't, he was like, I didn't hear about that. And so I told him all that, everything that I had heard. And he was like, what the fuck? I was like, dog, it's just people. They come up with shit out of nowhere and they fucking relay it. And then it's like, weird, man. dude, it's just, it's just, sometimes it's just a bunch of drama. But like I said, there are some people in Lubbock that just aren't good character wise. You know what I mean? Back to the whole, like, what were we talking about earlier? The, um, the boyfriend things. Yeah. Like, we're just, people reveal themselves. Yeah. A lot, like, I, a lot of people are just fucking piece of shit. Yeah. Jesus. A lot of it's done, like, a lot of it's just clout or fucking, um, ego and shit like that and a lot of it's like you know people will basically um what do you, well, how can you put it they will put these people on a pedestal of like untouchableness like they like so they like let's say an artist does does something inappropriate or whatever the fuck and then um they, they call it out and then it's like oh they wouldn't do that they're great people and it's like just because like you've had a good experience with them don't mean that they wouldn't do you know yeah example 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 like they wouldn't do that so there's just some people that i know personally like that i would not mess with character wise because like i you know it's, if it's one person it's like okay it's hearsay so, but if it's multiple people then it's like something got to be going on like you know what i mean so like i just just they're just artists i won't mess with in town or like i won't associate with or anything like that and then there's other people that i just keep my distance from just because like i don't want to get caught in the crossfire of their fucking uh like you know People will say something on Facebook or Instagram, or like those. Like, so people will be like, "Oh, they're great," you know, whatever, whatever. But like on the, like I see like that, like the behind the closed door stuff, and I'm like, "Yeah, no, I gotta, I'll associate myself still." Like I'll say hi or whatever. I'm not like in that part, but like when they're like, "Hey, come do this with us," or this, I'm like, "Oh, well, I'm 
I'm, I'm with you on that. Though. Busy. Like, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm in that position a little bit now. I'm like, yeah, I, I just know too much about a lot of people you know I should, that I shouldn't yeah. know, man. I shouldn't. That's my fault. Yeah. And the same here. Like, it, it's like a lot of it's just like people coming to me and then they'll show me like, and it'd be different if it was just words for a lot of it. But sometimes it's screenshots and it's this and that. I'm like, oh, shit. So this shit's real. That's real. why I wouldn't like, put it past anybody about anything. No, you, you, you never really know. can't. You never know. There's that saying that like, what is it? Like, don't ever think it can't be you type shit or like, you know, it's a person, you know, like don't. And so it's like, okay. Well, I was telling Jen that I'm like, is it like, like I was just like, it's really, it seems like the more you, like, again, you, you meet these people and you figure out they're weirdos or mm-hmm. freaks or whatever. I'm like, is it really that hard to be a good person? Like, it's like, what the fuck, dude? Yeah, no. It's just fucking, people are fucking freaks. And I'm like, it's, I'm, it's like almost harder to be a good person. That's what they make it seem like. But it's really not. It's really not. Hard no. to be a good person at all. A decent person. A decent not even person. a good person. Like, a decent like human being. Morality. Yeah. Just, just, just having some basic morality. Like, hmm, I shouldn't do that. Yeah. Or like, hey, maybe I shouldn't be that way or whatever. Cause yeah, like, dude. And like I said, man, I've seen people that, man, they look like saints on social media and like in public, but <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Without, like outside of that, it's like, who the fuck are you? Because that is like night and day. It's like you're every, like it's like you're in public or you're around somebody and that little angel on your shoulder and you're just listening. And then as soon as you can get with like people that you're like, like you can get to like who you really are, then it's like, okay, now we're back, motherfuckers. Like you know, like it's just like, damn, like who really are you? Because I'm like. Mm, nah, I don't. Know. That's why. And that's what I said. Like, I, I, I get to know these people, and I'm like, they're cool. And then, like, you start saying, like, oh, they're not that cool. And then it's like, yeah, I'm gonna slowly back away and break away from like my association. Like, okay, like I said, I can still say, you know, hey, or whatever, but I'm not gonna sit there. Yeah, and, like, you can still be cordial with them. Cordial for sure. Yeah. Oh, me too. I just the more and more I hear about people, I'm like, oh my god, mm-hmm. I shouldn't have fucking Jesus yeah. Christ. Because then you associate with your people, and, then and you I'm come... not a saint, by the way, but no, I'm not no, a no. bad person at all. These yeah. people are fucking bad people, man. Yeah, <laughs> and it's like you know, because it makes you look bad because it's like at a certain point, is you become guilty by association, mm-hmm. and it's like, like, oh, so he must have did this, so you must be like that too. And it's like, whoa, 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 like I ain't got nothing to do with that shit. Like I don't even know him like that. Like I mean, I do know him, but I didn't know like they were like that, like that, like. Like you can't just generalize me just because I hung out with that person or this person, whatever, whatever. But that's why you have to kind of back away and break away yourself because you don't want to be guilty by association. You just got to be like, All right, I got to cut my ties to this person or whatnot, because, man, there's some like I said, there's even dude. And it's just like tattooing. Tattooing is a fucking clusterfuck of like information. Well, unfortunately, it's always been tat- a lot of them have been tattooers in my line. <laughs> like like it's, like dude it is so crazy like and like people tattooing like um it's almost hard not to have some sort of like for tattooer I, I feel like tattooers need to go and get like some psychology classes done because excuse me you know therapists they have to get therapists because sometimes like they deal with a bunch of shit because oh, they take on a bunch of shit. Them. Yeah. But it's like almost like, dude, you know how many people are tell I'm okay, now I'm gonna shut the fuck up right now because like I'm gonna start putting people's business out there and shit. <laughs> yeah. Well it's like, you know, well, you know what I'll say. Be we, be, just, just be a good guy. Okay, Please well it's not it. even like that. It's like so I would say I'm not gonna give put a percentage on it or nothing like that, but man, the amount of people I tattoo that cheat and do all these other crazy ass things and shit, it's almost like I hear it all the time to where I'm like is it because they tell you? Like, they tell while, me. while you're tattooing? Yeah, they tell uh, me. Okay. People give me their whole life stories. Sure, and they like, tell you me you get that shit, right? Does it kind of blow your mind at how common it is? Yeah, it's common. I'm kind of, or I'm just you kind get of that like, shit too, right? It's with everybody. Why is that so easy? Why is it? <laughs> but when you hear all that, I'm like, am I just like a rarity? The only, the only monogamous person? person that I know. And there's I'm, nothing wrong with like. <laughs> I mean, with, <laughs> no, I yeah, yeah. It's not. There's nothing wrong with just being like you know being like polyamorous relationships like that. But like, it is a problem when you're straight up lying. When you're straight up lying, lying is a problem. Yeah, lying. That is a big problem. The there's no boundaries on nothing but like cheating like it's so fucking common <laughs> like it is so common and it's just like it almost makes it to where like nothing could be going wrong in your life in your relationship nothing but like you hear it over and over and over again it's like it's so common to point like oh shit maybe, maybe it's because it's it's almost so normalized you hear about it being so normalized so you're just kind of like Hmm. Is it is it normal? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. You know, yeah. Right? It was just... Yeah. You sure did fucking go to. <laughs> yeah. And it's crazy. I because bet you went to Target. I bet you went to Target. <laughs> I got Target bags. Yeah. Yeah. I bet you did get them. Yeah, I bet you. I fucking fucking... Bet you did go to Rocks. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just it is so crazy because people just give me like their whole fucking te- like everything. They tell me everything, and I was like, 
I get it. You're getting like, and it's like, I think it's the pain factor of it too. Like, or just being sitting in a chair talking to somebody. Well, you know? I mean, you sit in somebody nine hours. Yeah. Well, what else are you going to You're do? in pain. You're talking. And then like at that too, you're like, you run out of shit to say. And then at that point, it's like, you get comfortable. And then it's like, man, yeah. So, but nah, man, I had this one chick one time. And then something. And then like, then like, then they call the girl like, hey, hey, can you bring me some food real quick? And I'm like, oh, yeah. what are we talking about? Or like, <laughs> the same thing with chicks though. Chicks all the time too. Like, man, this dude. And then his brother. And I was like, what the fuck? Or this cousin. And then like, and then the same thing with dudes. And it's back and forth. And I'm just like, I'm sitting there tattooing. And I'm like, Damn, this is like a fucking telenovela or like this is like some fucking like reality TV shit. But then I start, you know, as it's like, okay, it was this dude this day. And then the next day comes in and it's like, okay, then it's this dude. Oh, okay, now it's this girl. And then it's this girl. I was like, well, God damn, how many motherfuckers? Have, they catch up motherfucker just stay with one. I've had a boyfriend drop his girlfriend off and I've had the girlfriend's friend come through and then the boyfriend come and pick up the girlfriend. Yeah. Ugh. The friend, the friend of the friend or whatever. Mm -hmm. the fuck. And what it's am just, I supposed to do? Like, I'm just making my money. Yeah, that's it. That's it. And that's I'm why just, I'm just doing my little silly tasks. Yeah. And that's why I don't want to say like, I didn't want to put it out there because maybe somebody like one of my clients here is just going to be like, why the fuck you put my bit? It's like, it's not anybody in general. I'm putting anybody's business no, 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 in there, no. but it's happened a lot. It's happened a lot. So like, you yeah, can't even generalize it. You. And so, and to anybody that spouses that watching, like, it's so not if your anybody spouse. comments it's not your on spouse. your shit, then you know they're guilty. <laughs> yeah, so, so what don't, is, what is, don't even comment. Don't even comment. Don't even say anything. <laughs> and don't <laughs> no, don't, don't tell me everything because, like, <laughs> like I don't I don't tell nobody. That's the thing is, like, somebody tells me information, I just I just hold what it. In. So what if they? I just harbor it. What if they? And you're like, you're all happy. What if they say? They, what if they tell you they murdered somebody? I I don't know. Like I, that's, I don't do I want to get murdered too they already murdered somebody else <laughs> like, I, was, I, was, I was literally like what if somebody confessed to murder well you know what okay so uh, I'm on TikTok a lot now yeah and I've been like go scrolling through fucking um, nursing home employees or people well that's who different just, they're like, older and they're about to die no like it's, <laughs> It's very common <laughs> how many people do like deathbed confessions. I of, saw like, that. I, I drowned my baby, or like, oh, I killed. That is my fucking wife. crazy though, but it's true. Yeah. Like, but that's a little bit different, I think. But you already you, you gotta get it out before you go to wherever you go. I mean, honestly, you're fucking weak if you confess mm -hmm. to murder while getting tattooed. Or yeah, you, just, like, you have to get that off your chest. Look, I just <laughs> you probably didn't do it. I put you, my headphones in and listened and fucking. You, I watch YouTube. I don't Dude, even talk. That shit like lowers the vibrations how you, like crazy. How the fuck do you? No, I'm even wondering here. How do people talk during tattoos? Because I'm in pain. No, me I have to make. No, it I don't, uh, like she like if I'm getting tattooed personally, I tuck my head away and I go to a different place because I am not there. Don't, Melissa, don't even try to have a Melissa, conversation. If you're with me. listening, when I talk to you, is because I want you to stop and give my leg a break because yeah. I'm like I can't handle no, it right not now. Me like when I get tattooed, I, I legit like. I'll tuck away. If you try to have a conversation with me, I'm not going to tell you nothing. Like, you're not you're not going to get a word out of me. I make X talk to me mm -hmm. almost the I whole can't, time. I cannot talk. We will have fucking fluid ass conversations. <laughs> Forever, and though. I, but that's how we sit because yeah. I just talk it off. If I, if I try and like listen to music, I can't fucking do it. It's, all, it's like all, oh, it's all I have to listen to something. Yeah. All I fucking focus yeah. on. No, I, that's why I like Melissa because it's silent unless I talk. But I don't ever talk because I'm watching. I mean, shit. I do like being quiet, I guess. But like on like bigger pieces. <laughs> We're yeah. there for six hours. You might as well so talk like, to me. So I'm like, how the fuck are these motherfuckers talking? That's crazy. Especially in these really bad spots. I don't know. Man, dude, I fucking, I just, I can't, I can't fucking, I, 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 I start getting tattooed and then I start getting to that point. Like if, if you have, if you say something to me, I'll respond to you. Yeah. Sure, but if like you try to actually try to talk to me, I'm like, I'm not thinking that hard. Like you gotta, you gotta keep the conversation <laughs> very fucking simple because I'm not there. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Yeah, people. And one of the one of the homies hit me up from Dallas the other day. He wanted to. He was like, um, "Shout out to Tame Money." Yeah, I like the Snape one. Did you? Is that the one you did at the expo? Which one? That one. No, I did the Dobby at the expo. Oh, that the one I had already had this done. This is the same girl though, right? Yeah, had that little mini Hogwarts on the bottom of it. That was a cool little thing. Scorpion. Scorpion. Little. Yeah. A lot of cool stuff, little things. Here, that was at the show, the Dobby. Mm -hmm. And that snitch was already healed like six months. How long did it take you to do that? That Dobby, like six hours, six, seven hours, something like that. Cut me off. Now, like quick. these colorful ones, do they fade? Yeah. Uh, how, do they fade quicker than black and white? Mm -hmm. or? Not really. I can have some people send me some chill stuff right now and they'll still look the same. I'm saying like over the, over yeah. the years. Probably like psst, 10 years, 12 years down the road, but like, no, that color is like a lot of that color in there, that shit's saturated. So it's not going to go nowhere. If you layer it the right way, it's not going to, it won't fade or nothing. Um, black's the only ink that like stays forever because it's like carbon based and we're carbon based creatures. And what so is that? Just, what is, who's this character right here? Uh, right there, that middle one? Yeah. That's a uh, get, uh, sorry, Gojo. I don't know why the hell I said that. Yeah. From uh, uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. Yeah. 
That's a good ass anime, by the way. My sister watches that, I think. Yeah, it's a real good anime. But and that's the thing is I like doing anime pieces, man. I love doing anime pieces. Anime pieces and fucking realism pieces. Like that's the two things that I really enjoy. But like like I said, I'll do anything. That's sick. Mm-hmm. Is that pet cemetery? Yeah. And that thing's like this big church. Church. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's on the it's on the inside of an ankle, so it's only like that big. It's just a little filler gap. There's a cover up of some like uh Is that where you got the idea? Yeah. I didn't know that. And I see that Jack Nicholson's right next to it. That red rum, you can see the is bottom that of it. Car- or the, what's, the, what's the car called? Christine. 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 Yeah. We're going to call it Karen. <laughs> no, I was going to say Carrie. I think, I, think that, I think that car is probably down further too. The crew. There it is. Yeah. There's a video on it, I think. But yeah. So this person like, loves Stephen King? Yeah, he got the whole Stephen King lake sleeve. And that's what we're saying, like, like that, that oh, kind of thing. Yeah. Salem's lot piece, no? Yeah, that's the same guy. Yeah, so Salem's lot, he got a young. Um, a young Stephen King right there, that that little birdie looking thing on the side. I haven't got a picture of that one, but yeah, it's a young Stephen King when he all coked out in the seventies and shit. So like, it's all in black and gray. So I made, I gave it color. I went and looked up like Stephen King pictures, saw his hair color, and I started just like trying to like go off okay, of it. Cool. Yeah. And those are all old ones. And then look, there's Jean's grandpa. That's my grandpa. Hi, Willow. <laughs> yeah, but no, it's just. And then that right there's a digital. That those lips. If you, oh, I mean, oh, the video's not on there, but yeah, no, that's a digital painting. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. That's just done on a pro, like on a fucking iPad Pro with the Procreate. That's the only Save one I've ever done. Dude, he's on the, shout out to the Pokemon uh, Oreos. And he's on the Pokemon Oreos? <laughs> they have a Sable ones. Yeah, my sister got some, so I was eating them. Yeah. <laughs> They're cool, man. I love Pokemon. Somebody hit me up like two months ago, man, and invited me to go work for him in Dallas. And I was almost, man, I was thinking about it. So you talking about it. Yeah. And his name's, uh, let me find his Instagram handle real quick. Um, yeah, go ahead and send it to me so we can look at it. Go to Melissa. It's Ink by Peanut. Um, <laughs> yeah. Ink by Peanut. Yeah. Whose leg is that? Whose leg is that? Whose leg is That's that? That's a sexy leg. That's ugly. Take it off. I don't no, want people to see it. We're watching it. If you're listening right now, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'm almost at 300. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you both of y'all for helping me out. Oh, almost yeah, of there. course. How many do you need? One more. No way. I can Damn. get, I'm going to, I think I could be able to, I should be able to get one more person. I'm at 299. I'm subscribed, ain't I? What's today? I have <laughs> to be. I have to be. I was like. What's that, Instagram? Uh, Eat by Peanut. Shout out to Bad Barbie. Yeah, he invited me because he's about to open up the right there. Uh, that that third one. He's about to open up the biggest tattoo shop in Dallas. This one, the top one, the Ink by Peanut. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Peanut. he has one hundred and thirty-two thousand followers. Yeah, that food does a bunch of anime and like that's the thing is he's gonna open up a big ass like anime tattoo shop. He already got one, but he's about to open up the biggest one in Dallas. Maybe thirteen thousand square is feet. Is it that black dude? Right there? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, nah, he's about to. So he had hit me up and he was like, hey, man, he's like, he's like, your work is dope as fuck. And I was like, man, if I wasn't about to just open up a shop, I would have done damn been there. I would have been like, fuck this lease. I'm going to fucking get out of oh, my house and do all that man. shit. Dude, that Yu-Gi-Oh! was cool. Yeah. yeah. This one? Yeah. And so that's the thing, man. It's like, I was thinking about it because I was like, man, that's exposure for me too. Because anybody that works with this dude is like getting exposure because like they work at a shop. That fucking uh, One Up Inc. Like that's a good shop to work at. But um. And that's the thing. There's like a lot of good shops and whatnot, but this one just got to me because it's the fact that it's like fucking anime nerd pop culture tattoo shop. I'm like, that's fucking badass. Butt cheek says there for you. Mm-hmm. you got Frieza on the butt cheek. Yeah. Okay, so if you went there, would you have to do like those specific tattoos, or could you do whatever you, you want? I'm pretty sure you can do whatever you wanted, but it's the fact that you know, like that, like I'm, I know people would go there. And be that's like, hey, a draw for want. itself. And right? I'm like, yeah. So I'm like, damn, that'd be dope to do. But you know, who's that? Uh, that's the Joker that laughs, and the regular Joker, and the Jared Leto Joker. He's a pretty, he's a great tattoo artist, though. He's really is. He's a really good tattooer. Mark Hamill's Joker, mm-hmm. the bottom one, right, mm-hmm. the middle one. That's the Joker that laughs. That's the one. That, oh, not Joker okay. that laughs. Is that what it, is that his name? Yeah, that's the Joker that laughs. Yeah. Oh, that's what I said. Not not Joker, Batman that laughs. Sorry, oh. fucking. That's from that comic book. Isn't that what he's based really off? Cool. The man that laughs, the Joker. Have mm-hmm. you ever heard of that? Am I right? The man that laughs. Hey, yeah. go up to that one real quick. To the where you can see this, Fire Lord, Ozai, Ozai, the one that 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 one in the middle gen right under that one, right below that one, right below that one, that yeah. one, the Avatar. Oh, that's uh, uh what's his name? His son, Zuko. Zuko. Yeah, dude, that's actually really fucking cool. 
That shit looks like fun, bro. See, that's it. That's the kind of shit, shit like, I'm like, yeah. the next day. My, I can tell you who my favorite. My, I can tell you who my, can my you do that in one day or is that like multiple? No, no, that's that's multiple days because like that's probably like looking at that tattoo. That top part's healed. Zuko's healed. And that bottom part is fresh. You know, is that red? Or, yeah, that red on the bottom. So um, okay, so if you, break this down for me. So if you were to approach this, where are you starting? Me? Um, yeah. What are you doing first? Well. If I would have did it, I would have did person? like yeah. If I would have did it, I would have did Zuko and that whole fire at the bottom first, and then I would have okay. did the top part, or if I would have did the top part and vice versa, you know okay, what I mean. So but let's say let's, you're doing the top one first. Yeah. Where are you going? Where are you starting? Top, bottom side. Where are you starting? Uh, bottom left. I mean okay. bottom, bottom right side because I'm right-handed. So like I gotta oh. start this way and work my way up that way. I don't rub off the stencil because oh. if I start at the top, then like my hands on the stencil the whole time, and then I'm rubbing it or doing you. whatever. Okay. Yeah, you start at the bottom right if you're. Left, right-handed, and then bottom left if you're left. And something like this. Wh- what's the outline? Like the fucking face, or wh- I don't know. Like, are you? So there's no outline in that no? fire. There's so, well, so there's no outline on the bottom fire. That bottom fire is like just straight up coloring, like shading and whatnot. That top fire, you can see that outline right up below Ozai, and then you know he's outlined, Zuko's mm-hmm. outlined, but all the rest of that back filler gaps doesn't look like it's outlined at all. It's just like sh- coloring, just shading and shit. So yeah, but. No, it's, and that's the thing, too. It's just, like, depending on what you're doing. Like, if, if somebody say, like, hey, I want to get this sleeve done. And I'm like, all right, bet. What do you want? And they're like, I want Ozai and Zuko. And then you fill her. I was like, how big you want to get them? And they're like, I want this big, this big. That's when I would honestly go through and I just I, I'd stack the whole thing already, get the composition of it down, outline the whole thing, and then wait to do the coloring and shading oh, on the next yeah. session. Just so that way all the outlines are already out the way. That way, next time, every time you come in, it's just like, all right, I just do some shading on this session or I do some coloring on this session. Or yeah, because I know two people who are doing, like, a whole back piece. And they just got their, their the back done. outline done. Yeah, that's 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 perfect. That's the way to do it. And then they, I guess, piece whatever. I don't know. I guess dealer's choice wherever they go, right? Mm-hmm. I don't fucking know. And it depends on if it's like realism or if it's whatever. Because if you're getting like a realism back piece, you clearly can't outline it. Because as soon as you put a hard line there, it's just, it's no longer like realistic. It's like you're going to lose that softness or whatever you need. So you got to like, that's why it's hard to outline a realism piece. You can do it in bloodline or like a real light, like gray, gray. But even if you hit it with like a real soft when you come back, sometimes that gray is too still too hard and you always see that little line there or whatnot. And then that's just being real anal about fucking like, oh, I don't want this really thin gray line there because nobody's ever going to come up and be like, damn, dude, that tattoo's tight. But that one thin line that's like almost non-existent, I, I see it and I don't like it. Like, you know what I mean? But that's just me being technical about it. Like, oh, I don't like doing that. So, but. Can you, can, can we look some more, please? Can you exit out? Can you exit out? Well, and I'll, I'll tell you who my favorite tattooer down. is, bro. My favorite tattoo artist is... Hey, go to the Eevee one. Right there, too. This? I'm testing your not. Yeah, that one. Of who, if you know these people, that's cool. <laughs> this? <laughs> My sister would love this one. She would probably get something what, like that. The Evolutions? Yeah, that's cool. Can you, yeah, go ahead and send it to us so we can look at it. Who is, who, who is your favorite one? The Art of Original Pete. This dude is from Australia. This dude is also fucking badass. It's right there, you see? Oh. Right there. Yeah. That dude right there, man. He is... <sighs> that dude is insane. Oh, shit. He does a bunch of, like... He does a bunch of anime shit, too, but he also does realism. And I does... I mean, he does realism oh. really well. Like I said, he does both. Whoa, that's on the foot, too? Yeah. Oh, fuck. That motherfucker's solid. Like, that shit is good. But like I said, like, his all his work, bro, like, all of his fucking tattoos are solid as fuck. And I'm like, yeah, that is... That's... That's, who, that's why I bought that machine the other day. Go, go, go. <laughs> I bought that exact machine just because oh, he uses okay. it. I was like, I'm going to try it out. It must be good for something. And I was like, oh, I just... So that's the thing is I still, like, even though I'm good as far as like, oh, I love it. Like, everybody's like, oh, you're good, whatever, whatever. Like, I still idolize hey, people. And I'm like, Reiner. man, I got to check that shit out. Rainer has the armor tightened after this. Holy shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he got the whole leg sleeve done of like all rock legends. That shit's crazy. He got Corey Taylor. He got uh, J- uh, James Hetfield. Wait, I'm sorry. Can you go back to that one more time so I can ask you? The one you were just on. So that's what it looks like fresh right here. Mm, that one's probably healed. Oh, yeah. Because I'm saying, does it, then it comes this. That, yeah, okay, yeah. So then then it now that one's healed. Yeah. So that other one oh, was okay. fresh. Okay. Yeah. But you can see, like, that's that healed is still really good. And I don't even that's know if he's using badass. the CPL lens on that. He might be using the CPL lens, though. So CPL lens and filter, like, that shit takes out all the glare and so you can see all the color and whatnot. It makes the tattoo just look a little bit more... Can you like, go back? Sorry, can you go back? Oh, I have to... Yeah, the nine. Yeah, that dude's good, man. 
He's real good. He's so cool. But like I said, he's probably my favorite tattoo artist. Like, to your left. Up one. That one. What Armor Titan. Yeah, the Armor Titan. Reiner. Reiner. Yeah. <laughs> Who got stole off on? Damn, that's cool as fuck. That boy was ready to unalive himself. Oh, shit. The last season. Yeah, about it's about to come up. Yeah. I just remember that. Yeah, but I think if you keep scrolling down, Jen, you might find that one piece that I was talking about. That's what I'm looking for. It's probably kind of far in there because he's been doing a bunch of anime shit lately. Damn, These are really cool, man. Yeah, no, they're really clean pieces. That one. Yeah, there shit. you go. You can see that. I think he goes down Is that the Tom leg. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's Corey Taylor right there underneath him. Is that my boy underneath him? Mm-hmm. So I think he, he should go down on the leg on this one. I mean, he was. Yeah, there he goes. Is That's that Jimmy, Jimmy James? Yeah. And- Corey. Corey. Damn. Have you heard Corey Taylor's son's band? With the no. uh, with the clowns son? Yeah. I've heard of, I've seen them that they're doing something. Bro, sh- I shit you not. You were you just, dog. Oh shit, there it is. There's Ozzy. Yeah. Tell me that shit's not insane. Like that's not a fucking just the craziest leg piece. That's a cool James tattoo. Cool Jesus James Christ. Tattoo. And you got this fucking Jack Black. This is a Is that a Dave Grohl? Uh-huh. Dave Grohl. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. Dio, Dio on the bottom. Gas. Dio. Kyle, Kyle Gass. Gass. <laughs> he got the Nation's D on his leg, man. This, the, guy's, the guy's a guy at Coach. Oh, that Metallica symbol is pretty cool. That's, that's probably the coolest Metallica That's a tattoo really cool seen. sleeve. Wow. See, if you're going to do like icons, that's the way to do it. That's cool as shit. So, so Corey Taylor's son, his the band, this, the, the name of the band is Bended. V e n d e d, that dude. Oh, I shit I'm you sorry. not. I shit you not. He sounds just like his fucking dad. I bet, dude. Like, it's almost it's... insane. Ooh, nasty ass teeth. Look how good they are. This. Yeah, this shit was fucking it's crazy, cool right? Shit. Telling you, man, that dude's fucking. And Have like, you ever like talked to him? Nah, I've no. never talked to him. I bought a t-shirt from him once, but that was about the, most of our conversation. You're like, no, I've never talked to him. No. <laughs> Fan girly. Now, would you ever, speaking of like something like, would you ever get into, um, like, uh, what am I fucking trying to say? Like the tattoo guns, that industry, like selling needles. I don't know. Like a supplies company? Supplies. I thought about it for one. I, I thought about it at one point, man, but it's just a lot of keep up. So it's, it's honestly a lot to keep up with too. And then it's like the turnaround on it. Like if you buy ink and shit like that, you have to usually buy like bulk, bulk amounts and all that shit. Like I don't want to have to get into like an actual business of just doing straight up supplies and shit like that. Like I thought about it at one point, but I was like, man, if I can keep supplies on hands or just some of the homies, that's different than me just like trying to open up a supply shop and do keep. Well, I'm saying what if you had your own like gun? I don't fucking know. Oh, you mean like me making my own type of machine and like all that let's just of, say you're 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 that big and faint would you ever do that like you sell your one like you know like all i can think of as like kind yeah. of kat von d do their makeup would you ever do you know what i'm saying yeah like, i mean james hetfield has a, his own guitar guitar and all you know, shit. like that yeah i would but it'd have to be like a limited run and like i would only like i wouldn't like try to overprice them hoes or nothing like it would just be unless i really had somebody sit down with me and we made like an actual machine machine together that we can just put out that was like of quality you know what i mean but mm-hmm. um no, I never like I. No, man, I, I use um, I use a Cheyenne, uh, Cheyenne uh, Soul Nova Unlimited, which is like a wireless machine pin, whatever. Fucking like that Cheyenne's a huge tattoo brand, and then I also use an Injecta, which is a huge tattoo brand. And then I I just got that new Vlad <laughs> badge because he fucking had one, and I was like, <laughs> so I bought one of those. And uh, so that and again, they're a big big brand of tattoo machines. So like with those three things, man, if I can't get a good tattoo down, then I just. It's not the machine, you know what I mean? I could probably pick up a China. Like, honestly, I have. I, you know, use cheap-ass machines and still got quality work out of just, but it's just, you know. Um, it's not the Indian, it's the arrow. It's the arrow, you know what I mean? But, Can you go up a little bit? I want to see one of these videos that I was looking at earlier. Man, that dude's, that dude's cold, though, bro. Like, I really I really look up to his work. But that's the thing about being more selective, like I was talking about. Yeah. I want to kind of change up my Instagram, and I'll probably end up having to take everything off, put it back on or whatnot. But it's just like I want to build a better kind of flow of like the way fucking oh, okay. right there. can you go that where you see the stencil I want to see how that looks. kind of the Midoriya look at that look how clean that is put a little oh, video she in even there. does a video damn yeah, fancy <laughs> that's that TikTok shit yeah 
That's a yeah, CPR. That's cool. CPR lens and filter, man. It makes everything look a little bit brighter. Kind of get all the color out of there. But well, I like the way he does his stuff, man. I like the way he encapsulates his things because you know, like he like he, he knows that he's gonna be working on other tech, anime related pieces. Go to that one right there. Where'd so you, he'll throw like a black border book? around him, like so he'll do all the color up and then he'll put black. That way, when he puts the other piece, he'll just blend that black into the black, and then he'll just fucking like if you look at his like full sleeves, it's like you'll see the blacks collide, and then it just kind of. Oh, goes I see what you mean. Yeah. Is this uh, Aaron? Aaron. Eddie Yeager. Chin, you should really watch this. See, look, he's using that what machine. What is it? Hey, look, he's using that machine. <laughs> like, oh, I, need, I need that machine. I was like, that's badass. You remember when me and, and we were all talking about it when we were here? Yeah. Yeah, it's, 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 that's him. Well, we were watching his brother, but that's him. And then he changed his machine for the coloring. He uses their other fucking, he uses their little Ultron pin, which I'm going to end up buying one of those too, just to see. <laughs> there has to be something to it. Are they pretty pricey? Or, uh, uh, that machine was like 750 or some shit. Jesus Christ. How long will it last, do you think? Probably forever, though. Oh, forever. Yeah. It's an investment. Yeah. They pay for themselves in like one or two tattoos usually. That's what I would mean? say. I'm sure you get your money back pretty yeah. fast. But see, look, that black border. He does that black border because he knows he's going to come back through and add black backwards. <laughs> That's cool, though. Oh, God, that would hurt right there in that. I had to, man, I was supposed to get tattooed the other day and I couldn't actually get out there and I had to cancel. So I ended up sending my homie like 600 bucks just for canceling because I was like, I can't make it. And I, you know, I know how it is to fucking lose money out on a day that, you know, like, fuck. So of course I messaged him like 48 hours prior and shit, whatever, but I still sent him the money because oh, I was like, yeah, you know, that's just like the polite thing to do, I guess. There you, you go, say. people. I, I mean, think you you were on Facebook talking about what it means to like cancel on somebody and like you yeah. put it in perspective. Well, no, it was a homie Rudy, and then I just shared oh, his stuff. Okay, but okay. even with that said, I had a girl. <laughs> okay, so what had happened was <laughs> there's another thing she she kind of subtweeted like or sub shared me and stuff, and she was like, "Well, let's talk about artists who don't show up or like they had to cancel or they they don't have what they need. Do y'all give discounts? Do y'all do this and that? And I was like, do y'all send back deposits? And I was like, actually, yeah, I do. But the reason she had like sub wrote me whatever is because i had just had to cancel on her cousin but i was still in quarantine with covid so her cousin was like if you've known you've been in and if you've known you that you've had covid for three weeks why didn't you let me know prior i was like i didn't have covid for three weeks i just barely got covid i was planning on be out so that way i can do your tattoo on this because i was supposed to do a tattoo like on the fifth or the, the third or some shit and i hit her up like on the 25th or the 27th when i found out that i was positive i was like you know i'm sorry and she was like I was like, I've been in quarantine since like August 8th and it's already this day. And like, so I'm like, I can't be able to get to it. And she's like, well, if you've already known for three weeks that she's like, you think that I was planning on catching COVID at the end of the fucking month and being like, you know what? I'm just not going to go to work for the next week and a half. Like, no. So I didn't send her back. So I sent her back her deposit and I just left it alone at that. But then she, you know, her cousin went and wrote that shit. And I was like, y'all are trying to sub, y'all are trying to tell me. She's like, let's talk about that. So I went and basically replied to that. And then she didn't write on the back. And I was like, well, see, there you go. Like, <laughs> you just basically did that to try to make me look bad. But really, I don't feel bad about it because I sent her back her deposit. And it's not like I intentionally caught fucking COVID. It's like, yeah, you know what sounds, we should, oh, we should get the family together and catch COVID. That sounds like fun. Like, and I wrote her that. I was like, it's not like I meant to catch it. She's like, I know you didn't mean to, but I'm just saying. And I was like, well, I'm just saying, like, I, like, yeah. you know, it's shit. Like, I mean, shit happens. Like, if she were to hit me up the day of her appointment, I'd be like, hey, I'm sorry, I got COVID. I can't come in. I'd be like, no problem. I, like, I'll get you rescheduled. You know, I, I'll, I'll find you sometime. I'll come back and be like, oh, no, you lose your deposit. You know, it's like you're fucked up for catching COVID. Like, the fuck would I, you know, that's, that's dumb. So it's like, no, how she, like the same thing. If, if somebody hits me up the day of, and like I have had people hit me up day of like, Hey bro, like I woke up, I feel like shit this morning or whatever. Thank you for that. Because I'd rather you not come in, not get me my, get me sick or get my kids sick or something like that. Like that's just common courtesy. Like, I don't know. That's fine. But what's not fine is when they do it like five minutes before their appointment. Or yeah. Like the hour of their appointment well, or whatever. It's, it's, yeah. And there's, and there's like a, there's like, a, there's li like there's a limit few to exceptions. it. Yeah. A few exceptions. Yes. Yeah. That <laughs> yeah. has, or it'll be like dead ass five minutes before their appointment. Sorry. I feel very sick today. I can't come in. Yeah, but that just seems like a cop out to just not come yeah. in at that time. Yeah, that seems like but when they hit me yeah. up in the morning, or they're like, or if like I hit them up and they'll hit me back all day, and then that night they're like, "Excuse me, hey boss, sorry, I was in the hospital all day with this or that." I'm like, "Oh, bro, I, I, I you know, I'm like, I get it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like this girl had to can't, like we had to reschedule her because her mom. She's like, sorry, I'm not gonna be able to make it. My mom had a stroke last night, so I'm like, like shit, I wouldn't even wrote me yeah, back. I wouldn't even wrote me back. I'd have yeah. been like, you go do what you do, and but you know, we gotta get her back on the schedule, or whatever. But it's, it's shit like that. Like, of course, if you have something that emergency or something like that i'm never gonna sit there and be like oh no you lose out <laughs> screw you but it's for people that that's like no call no show and that's what that post was about it was like if you no call no show me or you cancel for no reason 
you know, it, you, we're losing out money, you know, whatever. This is how we feed our families. That's what Rudy was saying. Or that girl was like, what about when y'all can't? I was like, none of us really cancel for not no reason at all. Like, we usually have a reason. If we do, then I compensate. Like, there was one time I was late, like two hours. I fucking just woke up late as fuck. <laughs> this chick drove in from Amarillo and I woke up two hours late. And then so she left. She was on her way back already. And I got a hold of her, like, like as soon as I woke up, I called the shop. They're like, nah, she left. So I tried to get a hold of her, get a hold of her. She finally called me back. And I was like, hey, I'm sorry. Like, are you still in town? Like, is everything? She's like, so no. She's like, I can come back. And I was like, cool. She came back, got the tattoo done. And I took off like $300 off her tattoo because like I fucked up. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, she was like, uh, when she asked, like, so how much I owe you? I was like, oh, like, she like 200 bucks. And she's like, for, she's like, but it's like this big. And I was like, I fucked up. Like, that was on me. Like, I was like, you had to drive here and I fucking was late. Like, that, that's 100% on me. And she's like, I was like, I really don't even fucking want to charge you. But I know if I don't charge you, you're going to be like, no, no, no. So I'm like, you know, at least something to compensate. And she's like, okay, that's fine. So she still paid me. She paid me the 200 or whatever. And then she went about a business. But like, like I accommodate, I try to accommodate. Like, I'm not going to just sit there and be like, nah, nah, you don't get shit because I'm fucking up. Like, that just makes me like an asshole. Like, yeah, your time's not worth the same as my time. You know what I mean? Like, that's not the way that works. So I don't know, man. But that's what that girl was saying. Like, do y'all accommodate? Do y'all do this and that? And I was like, I do. And had you been patient or like, you know, really your cousin that had to cancel on you, had you been patient, I would have accommodated her too. It's not like I did that shit intentionally. Like, you know what I mean? But I'm not, I can't, you can't please everybody. No matter what you do, no matter how much you try to accommodate people, no matter what you like, it's, you know, if you, as long, if you ruin their plans, it's like, you're the asshole. And it's like, I didn't do nothing wrong. Like I didn't mean, I didn't mean to do this. You know what I mean? So I don't know, but like I said, you just, regardless of what you do, you really can't just please everybody. So just go about your business. You really can't. So I just deleted her cousin. I, just, I deleted it. I just deleted her. And I was like, yeah, I don't, I don't need you on my shit because what, you're just, just going to be on here to be negative. Like, this is basically it. You know? And so it is what it is, man. Um, I don't know. Shit, shit happens. You know how it shit goes. Shit does happen, man. All right, I got to go pee real quick. So you guys keep I going. I also needed to go pee. Well, now you got to wait. Well, I'll go pee, leave the cameras running, and then we'll come back at the same time. And then exactly. I'd be like, you know, I do watch your podcast. So, you know, there's one of those things. But I was watching the West Texas Paranormal one. That was a good one, man. I was like, a spooky season. So it was good to, you yeah, know. I was going to ask you about Yeah, dude. Uh, let's. Uh, well, before I ask you about the spooky shit. Yeah. I wanted to show you this video I just saw. All right. <laughs> this is funny. Literally, while I was pissing, I was watching this video. Watch this shit. Let's see if it loads. Oh, God damn it. Does that man have a bung? Yeah, he does, but watch what he does when he's smoking it. Oh, shit. I actually won a five foot bong at one point. Damn it. I won a, was it, no, it's a four foot bong, five foot bong. I won a five foot. You smoke weed? No. No. I just won a bong. (laughs) So so I was like, it worked out. I gave it to my cousin. I did smoke out of it once, though. Like, I won it, so I was like, I'm going to smoke out of it once. But I don't smoke occasionally, like, you know, or like, I don't smoke like that um i probably smoke like once every like six months in a fucking blue moon or some shit and that's it really yeah jim will you shut that garage please yeah it's the top one the last time i smoked was probably that last bike rally or something one of the homegirls was like she was tattooing me brianna and her and her girl went to go kick it or whatever and uh she was like i might just try to handy this blunt because i'm just used to smoking with the homies and i was like all right so she sure enough as we we're sitting outside their hotel room or whatever she tried to hand it to me i was like well fuck it i might as well so i fucking smoked for a little bit and then i'll get back then we go eat at fucking ninnies there's a whole story to ninnies bro because brianna was drunk off her ass we were drinking moonshine oh Jesus like Christ. fucking we, we finished like the whole thing of moonshine that we were like moonshine, yeah the apple pie apple my moonshine like yeah. actual moonshine we got it from like the we got it from the bikers that were there at the fucking oh, cool. rally and shit so you know or they they did and we were drinking it with them whatever but Brianna was off her ass and she was like they go going ninnies I was like who the fuck is ninny <laughs> bro it, got, it was a whole ordeal it was the funniest shit but can you put that back over there um, can you play that video when you get a chance but uh, yeah I know bro so <laughs> that was the last time I smoked though what are you gonna what are you gonna do when you catch your daughter smoking weed nothing by then it'll like, probably be legalized like Nothing, Nothing probably like why like don't do that shit there anywhere I'm supposed else. Supposed to play this? Yeah, watch this video. I was watching all. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck? Well, you get the gist. It's not yeah. gonna. It's not gonna go. Turn the computer. I don't need to see this shit. He's just smoking a. He's smoking a bong. He lit his hair on fire. <laughs> and he's smoking a bong. Oh, and then he puts it out. The bong water. <laughs> That's fucking gross. So, the bong water. Oh, shit. He lights his hair on fire, smokes a bong, then puts it out. 
A bong lighter. So I've never smoked out of a five foot bong before. So when we were when we got when I won that one, it was like, how the fuck do we cool this big bitch down? <laughs> so what, so what we did was we got a bunch of sonic ice. Sonic ice is what works. You get a bunch I've of sonic ice and they poured it. You, know, you pour it down the thing and like that way it goes like all the way up to the top of the fucking uh-huh. you know whatever the fuck I forgot what it's even called. I don't smoke. I don't even smoke like that. But so yeah, no, that's how you hit it because you try to hit that bitch and you only got like a little bit of ice in there and it's like at the very bottom. It's a fucking four foot bong. So that's how that fucking smoke gets up. You're like God. Like it's burning. It's just like hey, flames. Oh, you obviously fire have breathings. I haven't. No, I, I never smoked that. Bong I feel yet. like they fucking feel like oh, the no. fire nation was attacking you. <laughs> fucking smoking that shit. I have a bong yet, but not like one of those big ones. Well, I won one. I had one one at one point. I gave it to my cousin though because that fool smokes like fucking. I don't know, like a like that dude. That's that all he does. Way too much. That would be fun to experience. Yeah. Well, he he was like, I can clear it in one. He cleared it in two though. But but the thing is, is like he cleared it once. But the thing is, you still fucking have to light that bowl like three more times. It's like that's a big ass fucking bong, and it's like the fucking bowl itself was like just that, I yeah. Imagine. I was like, bro, that's like a whole <laughs> like damn, like you just. But yeah, no, I don't smoke like that or nothing like that. But I did, like I said in the royal, I smoked that one time out of it just because, like you know, you had to. I want it. I'm not gonna win something <laughs> and not use it. I would have just gave it away. I don't smoke I don't yeah. that shit. But to get back to your thing, yeah, trying to get those fools back on. For October, yeah, and they are scary. Jesus yeah. Christ, dude! Have Is that you looked at light just flicker or a bunch of <laughs> probably? It does that though. Besides the point, yeah. but, uh, <laughs> dude, they have their own podcast. Yeah, if you listen to it. Mm-hmm. It's their stories are even more creepy. Well, that's the thing too. Is like, he, like when he was like, "Hey, how's it going, guys?" And he was like, "I was like, that fucking sounds like a damn radio host." And he's like, "Yeah, it's Cisco." And I was like, "Oh, that's the dude from fucking the Tahano radio station." And I was like, yeah. "Sure enough, it was." That they're watching. Oh, he, oh, okay. he speaks very smoothly. Yeah, man. You know, he got that radio voice. So you got <laughs> to sit there and uh, you. you know. You gotta go ahead and uh, you gotta get the people what they want. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. Uh, you know, just if you go ahead and uh, head, head over to our podcast, you know, you'll see that. Uh, you know, we got the you know. I back haven't in the listened. House. And I was like, you know, okay, cool. Like, I like that. I, I like that. I like that. That's it's like almost like that R Dub. I like R Dub. R Dub looks nothing like he would think he would. The, the Sunday Night Slow Jams guy. Like you just, hey guys, you know, back here on Sunday night slow jams, you know, gonna give me out some oral expressions. <laughs> he talks all sensual all the time, every day. I'm like, uh, can you imagine this dude getting mad at the house? He's like, I'm really upset right now, you know, just I'm really tired of all the the lies and the cheating that the tattoo shop guy told me. <laughs> 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 Fucking goddamn, I hate, I hate, I hate talking to people sometimes at that damn shop. I'm just like, y'all dudes, y'all even just not stop talking to me, stop telling me. <laughs> I don't want to know. But dude, I don't know. But yeah, I know West Texas Paranormal. Them guys are fucking dope. I was, I was listening to some of their stuff too, and I was like, "That's cool." I, I just like ghost stories. Me and Jen have had plenty of ghost stories. And I, I, I told you about the day, like I told you about mine, right? How I had my like head turned around by that yeah, one ghost. Yeah, I remember you saying that. Yeah, that shit was tripped out. And so since then, I'm like, yeah, ghosts exist. Like there ain't no fucking. There was no other way like to explain what happened to me other than another fucking <laughs> ghost. You know what I mean? Like shit, fucking head turned. I'm like, okay, nothing happened. Took my headphone off, and then sure enough, these fools over here talking like. You ain't missing nothing in the house yet. He's telling the brother in law because you know the brother in law had just moved in because the girl was like his sister was pregnant or whatever the fuck that the the new sister was pregnant and he was like <laughs> he was like no nah, man he was like why he was like an old lady haunts this house I took my headphones I was like y'all fucking with me and he was like no why I was like bitch something just like fucking grabbed my face and turned it he was like no way he starts flipping now I'm like yeah no nah, I pick up my fucking keyboard and I just walk out of his house I'm ne- I never made back to his house and I was like thirteen and so oh, that's Jesus. fifteen years ago like I've can never you go been to back. The, my, the other Instagram so you see when when yeah, was the nah, last dude. time we did this. The podcast. I watched Alejandra's too. That was a funny one. <laughs> she was just laughing the whole time. She's hard to talk. She's, it was hard to get things out of her, but it was fun. It was a good one. She's yeah. funny. Yeah, yeah, she, she just she just kept giggling, and I was like, "You ask her a question, like, mm-hmm. I was like, what's going on? Like, I don't even know what's going on." But man, I need to start fucking, dude. The last time you had me on. Oh, yeah, dude, it's been a to, minute. That's what I wanted to see. I think your wife was with you. Yeah, that's the last one. Was, right there. With my wife. Shout out, BB. March yeah, 22nd. Little, fucking little table. Little table. Where were you, Vegan? Were you here? Yeah, she was the here for them. Oh, you're on the. Yeah. I was right here. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's <laughs> right. Yeah. Damn. That was before you started including me at the big kids' table. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's where she was still the co host. <laughs> but you were just the co host at that point. Yeah. Kind of, sort of. Kind of. I was just kind of there. Yeah. Kind of well, that when you guys started, you guys talked a lot. Yeah. We actually got you to talk a lot on that one. Yeah, because mm. I was just kind of like, mm, mm. I'm just here to push the buttons. <laughs> I'm just here to push the buttons. <laughs> I'm going to mute myself. Speaking I of, I need to get BB back here, too. She'll, she she liked it, too, the last time. 
she enjoyed it. It was fun. It was fun. Yeah. We no, should do it again. Sure. No, like for a sure, weekend for sure. or something when we get drunker. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Uh, what are we at? Gonna... What are we at? Yeah. We are at 115. Well, that's good, man. Damn, we've really... already been here an hour. That's yeah, fucking that's good. Quick. And, uh, appreciate you coming, Doug. Yeah, no problem. We no can do problem. it. We'll probably have to get one with your wife again, like in November. Yeah. Or something for my birthday or something. Get fucked up or something. That'd be cool. Yeah. Ruby turns 28 in November. What day? 30th. I always say the 31st oh, yeah. just to piss her off because there's no 31st. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so um, where can they get you? Where can they book you? Where can they talk to oh, you? Um, shit, I don't even know at the moment. People have been getting mad at me lately. Uh, Instagram or Facebook? Instagram tattoos by X. Facebook just under Xavier Gonzalez. Just shoot me a message. I might take like like in 12 weeks to get back to you, but I will return your message. Man. Yeah, be patient. People, be patient. You got to, man. Like right now I'm playing catch up like we were talking about earlier. But on top of that, it's just sometimes I'm like, I, re- I reply to a message in my head. I'm like, okay, I'll get back to it. And then shit, next thing I know, I'm like, <laughs> oh, it's like three weeks later. I'm like, I scroll back down. I'm like, oh, fuck. And I feel bad. You know what I mean? But it's, it's never intentional. I don't like, deliberately ignore people. It's just sometimes I miss your message. So, but no, that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm trying to get a better structure going on, all that good stuff. Try to fix the email thing. And try, I'm probably going to try to redirect everything to email or something different just so that way there's one place I go and just look and there's no, there's no having to go here and go here and go here and go here. And go here. But yeah, that's for a whole other conversation and stuff. But yeah, for now, awesome. Tattoos by X on Instagram and Xavier Gonzalez on Facebook. And my Facebook is pro- uh, public, so you can go on there. I usually have around 5,000 friends, so it's hard for me to just add people anyways. But you just go on there and just message me. I'll find it. There you go, people. Yeah. I advise you to hit up people like him for the tattoos. It's worth the wait. Mm-hmm. It's fun. I like talking to y'all guys. Y'all. And, um, you can email me at the snake pit pod at gmail.com if that's your way of communicating. If not, we're on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all that bullshit, TikTok, mm-hmm. Patreon, $3, a $5 tier, posting now more than ever. We might do a cooking show. We might do a short film. Who knows? Be on the lookout. It's Halloween. Cooking show? We're going to do some other shit. I don't know. Yeah. Catch us at, uh, uh, never mind, on the weekends. You know where we are if you do. Um, Jen, you got anything to say? Mm, no, not really. This is a good one. Uh, uh, subscribe, 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 subscribe. Yeah. Uh, get us to 300. Is that where we're at? 300? We're at Almost went one, one way. One By way the time 300. this comes out, hopefully we're at 300. So, so get us to 400. There right, you go. <laughs> so... By the way, I want to do Lord of Film one too because that shit was uh, okay. down too. Yeah, because me and that's B- on her. Yeah, you me, tell her that. Yeah, me and BB watch nothing. That's all we fucking do is watch movies. So they can do it. I think yeah. the next one we're gonna do is Halloween. Halloween uh, Kills next, comes out next, next week. Thursday. But we'll just we'll be out probably after that. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Peace out. Bye. <laughs>